today I'm in Coimbra. Take note of your controller configuration to make the most of this tutorial. Today we are going to film a kind of town reel. And I say a kind of town reel because I'm going to focus mainly on just one landmark of the city. Namely the historic University of Coimbra. But the principles that I am going to talk about in this tutorial can be applied to any town reel. So let's go into the basics. When it comes to town reels, you want to always have three things in mind. First, you want to keep it simple. That is, you don't have to use the most advanced moves that you know. Most of the time, a one-dimensional move is more than enough. Second, keep it slow. You want the viewer to relax while watching a town reel. So, keep the drone move slow and steady. And third, Take your time. You want the viewer to be able to fully appreciate what you are showing. So take your time when you are filming a particular spot and resist the first urge to stop the move. With this in mind, let's start the tutorial with some easy moves to warm up. For the first move, we are going to move in front and left to get the wide view of the city we are going to film in. Okay, let's next do a move where we show the viewer where our point of interest is located in the city. For that we are going to start from a position where we are far away from the point of interest and slowly move towards our point of interest. And we are going to do so by first creating a sweeping motion across the landscape by moving up and rotating left. Next we add a forward movement to move in the direction of the point of interest. Once the point of interest enters the frame, we add a downward gimbal tilt to bring our point of interest to the center of the frame. And finally, while the point of interest moves into the center of the frame, we slowly stop the rotation of the drone and just keep the other moves. Let's now do a similar shot where we are going to move in front and left while moving up and tilting the camera down. The main difference between this shot and the last part of the previous shot is that now we are filming with a digital zoom of two times to get a more compressed image. Could you tell any difference between this shot and the previous one? Let's put them side by side for a better comparison. Notice that on the clip on the left we have a wider field of view where everything appears to be spread out more. And on the clip on the right we have a narrower field of view where everything appears to be closer together. Don't be afraid of using digital zoom on your drone, even if it is a Mini 2 like the one I am using today. Hardly anyone will tell, especially if you are sharing your footage on social media. Let's now capture the view from the university to the river. Here we are going to move right and rotate left.
Let's now capture the other side of the city behind the university. For this shot we are going to use a 2x zoom and now we are going to orbit around the university by moving left and rotating right to then slowly tilt the gimbal up to show the rest of the city behind the university. Perfect. Let's now shift our focus from the university to some landmarks of the city. Let's start with a shot of the fountain in the river by just moving left and rotating right. Nice, we even got a rainbow. Let's next capture these boats as they sail through the river. For this shot we are going to move right and rotate left and at the end of the shot we tilt the camera up to look into the horizon. Perfect, let's next also capture some footage of a monastery on the other side of the river. Here we are going to move in front and left while moving up and rotating right and tilting the camera down. And for our final shot let's also capture some of the city traffic by just moving in front and right. And that was it for today, click this video next to see the end result of this tutorial.